After more than a decade, Plex has made one of the most significant changes to their platform. They changed their logo. No more Plex. It's now Plex. And a few other updates have arrived too. So let's take a look at the new Plex. And in between streaming your DVD rips from your Plex server, we hope you'll take the time to keep up with all the work here on reviews.org. Hit those subscribe options down below. Give us a follow around the socials. We've got some really fun stuff coming your way. Plex is one of those sweetheart services for our audience. It's a fantastic service, which has grown to become one of the most competent user interfaces for folks to manage their media. I'm an old, and I don't mind looking at an FTP layout or folders and folders of data organized the way I like to organize folders and folders of data. You probably shouldn't be like me, you should probably use Plex instead. Now, I actually do use Plex to back everything up so that I also have a fun smartphone interface for managing those folders of data. As streaming solutions have exploded, we're facing very real consumer fatigue and data overload. In a previous video, I talked about how I'm going back to collecting shiny plastic discs to back up my absolute favorite films and shows. Over the last several years, Plex has evolved from a fun nerdy little app to manage your DVDs to a full-fledged consolidating media service. At the end of last year, Plex significantly overhauled their sync option. Now, like standalone streaming services, Plex Pass subscribers can more easily download content from their Plex server for offline viewing. I think the major change though is how Plex handles other streaming services. It's well known as an option for collectors, but Plex aims to be an umbrella for all of your media, the stuff you've ripped and the stuff you can stream on other apps. The first major step was adding over the air antenna live TV from your area to the collection of Plex on-demand TV streaming. But the major step came recently. This past April, Plex added catalogs and listings for nearly every other streaming app on the web. Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Apple TV, Disney Plus, Amazon. It's kind of the pain point for streaming. I think most discovery algorithms are kind of terrible. You know, people poke around, they don't see anything new that they wanna watch, and they end up re-watching something that they've already seen, and then it kind of feels like you're wasting your streaming dollars, or worse, you have something specific in mind, but then you don't really want to search through four or five different catalogs to see if that movie's on a platform you're already paying for, only to then find out that it's not and you gotta sign up for some other service or rent it at a higher cost than you probably wanna spend. Plex wants to be a complete front end for that searching now. One-stop shop, your media, Plex media, and other platforms media. Put in a search and you'll see all your options in one place. Now we've seen some progress simplifying search on smart TVs and on streaming options like Google TV with Chromecast or on a Roku, but no one solution has truly risen to the top of the heap just yet. So there's plenty of room to compete on streaming media and consolidating search. Plex has been making their service prettier, they've been adding new features, and now they're trying to help other services simplify their search problems. Does Plex have what it takes to shake up the current streaming landscape? Is this gonna be a play where we're gonna see more consumers jumping on a single service solution? Are you running a Plex server we wanna hear down in the comments. Leave us some of them tasty hot takes below. And now if you'll pardon, I'm gonna get back to my rewatching Hot Fuzz from my 4K HDR Blu-ray rip. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. For reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, AKA Some Gadget Guy, and I will catch you all on the next video.